What's up guys? So this is the noise gate challenge. So I'm totally unprepared for this, but I, I haven't even tuned my guitar and uh, I haven't plugged in this amp right here. I have a JVM. So I've had a few questions about keeping a very high gain amp quiet. And uh, I, I actually had a guy, I always tell everyone you got to use noise gate. But I had a guy that emailed me. He said, you cannot keep a JVM 410 quiet. He said, there's no way. He said, he's had all the noise gates. He's had the decimators. He's had the NS2s. So we're going to plug this thing in. And we're going to see what we can do. So I haven't even plugged this thing. I have no idea what's going to happen. I could be totally wrong. We're going to plug this thing in. So I got my guitar going into the input. Let me show you guys what I got going on in the pedal board right here. So this is my standard live pedal board right here. Line six wireless into the tuner, into the decimator, and then into the precision drive. And from there we're going into, we have a long cable that goes around into Bring this up here into the input of the GVM 410, and we're going to see how this does here. So from there, we have to go out the effects send back into the decimator G string, and then we're going out into this little delay pedal, Echoplex delay, which is fucking awesome. And then we're going back into the effects return, and I need to plug that in because that is not even plugged in yet. And you know what, this amp is not even turned on. Let's turn this guy on. So I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to try to make this happen. So we're plugging in the cab. 16 ohms. And uh, come here, amp. We need to fix you up here. We got, let's see, effects return. Effects send. And we are on all the way wet. So this is basically a series effects loop. Because it won't work in a parallel effects loop. You can't put a noise gate in a parallel effects loop. Because parallel means there's two lines of sound. So if you block one with the noise gate, the other signal is still going to be loud. So you can't have a parallel effects loop with the noise gate. It just won't work. So, alright, we got this on. This is probably going to be loud as, yeah, loud. Let's go. I like this channel. I like this orange channel. It's pretty awesome. Oh, there we go. All right. That, that's pretty fucking quiet, if you ask me. So... This is going to kill my ears right here, but all right, we're on master one. Let's put it on six. That is fucking loud. Volume on six. So we got bass, middle, treble on noon. Resonance, presence on new. Oh, wow, what's, what is that noise? Something just happened. Oh, and it's kind of going away. All right, don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, that's the pickup. All right, so I'm stepping back. That's pretty quiet right there. Ooh, this is gonna be loud. All right, here we go. stand near this I turn off my guitar volume there's nothing all right come on come on come on all right let's try it on 10 all the way to 10 volume on 10 gain on 10 you know what fuck it let's turn everything to 10 10 10 10 10 everything's on 10 and you know what we're on the orange orange is orange is a lot that's enough gain right there all right I'm gonna try this this is gonna be loud loud but that's pretty quiet for a hundred watt marshall on 10 
that's pretty quiet. We got this right here. So here is what we are doing. I don't know if we can see this. Can we zoom in? Let's zoom in a little bit. Zoom in. We got, all right, just a little bit. So this is on like six right here. That's not even that high, honestly. And then we have, for the precision drive, the noise gate is actually off. Well, it's, it's not off. It's, it's always, no matter what, it's always on. It's just a knob. It's not a button. It's all the way down. So, it, but it's, it's actually engaged right now because we're not even playing anything. But as soon as we start playing, now we got to zoom out here. Zoom way out a little bit here and see what we got going. All right, this is going to be loud. Then when I stop, it's 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 dead quiet. Come on, this is all right. Let's let's prove to you that everything is on ten here. Come on, focus. Ten. Everything is on ten. It's on the orange. Ten, ten. Come on, ten, 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 ten. That's pretty quiet. That is. I don't hear anything. Come on. I think I won this challenge. And there is the pedal board. So let's see, let's turn the delay off. So that's always the ultimate test. I gotta stand back a little bit for this because if, if I'm too close, it's gonna feed back for sure, but just a little bit away. Pretty fucking quiet right there. So, all right. So without the delay, we can keep it quiet. It's still on ten. Sounds awesome. I like the sound. I almost like it better than the fifty-one fifty. That's pretty close to awesome. Let's let's see. What so let's switch over to the fifty-one fifty and we'll see if we can get that one to be just as quiet as the JVM. We prove that we can get the JVM all the way on ten and still be pretty quiet with the G-string. And so let's switch over and, and let's see what we can do. And honestly, the reason that we can get it so quiet is because the noise gate is in the effects loop. So the G-string works different than most noise gates. Most noise gates, you just plug in and you're gonna either have to set it for, you're gonna have to set it for one of two tones. You either set it for the clean channel or you set it for your dirty tone. And you're not gonna get the best setting on both. You can, you can do one or the other. So whether your noise gate is in front of the amp or it's in the effects loop, you're only really gating one setting. You're setting the clean channel or you're setting the dirty channel. But with the G-string, so let's go back over here. So because we're going pretty much straight into the G-string, so line six wireless again to the tuner and then to the G-string. So that's the signal the G-string is getting. 
it's getting the clean guitar signal no matter whether, whether it doesn't matter what setting the amp is on you're getting the clean signal from the guitar so you could be on the dirty channel or you could be on the clean channel it doesn't really matter the decimator is still getting the clean sound from your guitar and it's unaffected so it doesn't matter whether you have an overdrive on there or not it's still working based on your clean setting so let's see here so the amp is on we're getting just a little bit of noise here but it, it's pretty quiet still let's see how loud this is so the delay is off <laughs> So, the master volume right now is pretty low. Let's zoom in over here. Let's see. So, we're on the lead channel, and we are... Okay. That's pretty quiet. Now, let's just watch how we can turn this all the way up to 10, and it makes literally no difference in the sound. And if you don't believe me, if you think I'm on the rhythm channel, we'll turn the rhythm all the way up too, just to prove. Let's go over here. We got the red. That's so that we're on the lead channel. And then scroll back over. We are on 10, 10, 10, 10. So the EQ is not on 10, but that doesn't really matter. So it's, this is going to be really loud. I'm going to step back just a little bit. So let's turn on some delay because I love the delay. pretty hot signal right there so I, I don't think I would need to play it that loud that's just there's a lot of noise going on so let's turn it back I mean live you don't need to be louder than four is, is pretty loud for live <laughs> So it, it's still pretty quiet, and that is why it works, because we're playing straight into the G-string with the clean guitar signal, and a lot of people don't really understand that, because if I were to have this in just in the effects loop, if I had a regular decimator or, or anything else, you'd have a lot of noise. And so, okay, the one thing we didn't do, let's go back to the pedals here. Last thing we, we need to do this here is show how loud it is without these pedals on. So if I were to just turn off the G string, that's a lot of noise right there. And if, so even if I turn off, let's turn off the precision drive. That's off. Let's turn off all the pedals. So no pedals are on whatsoever, except for the G string right now. But let's turn off the G string. That's a lot of noise right there. That's just amp noise. That's not even the overdrive noise. So what if we turned off the amp? Or, or the what if we turn off the G string, leave the overdrive on? That's going to be even louder. Let's try that.
right, now we need to try this with the JVM. So we're switching back over to the JVM here. Get that power going. Let's move this, move the input back over to the JVM. And we gotta switch the effects loop. If I can reach it. And then we gotta switch back into the cab and there we go. So now we're plugged into the JVM. So it's just a little bit of noise. JVM is still on 10, and we have the precision drive. I don't have this one Velcro down, so that's kind of sideways, but everything's off. Let's turn that off. And then, so all we have here, decimator is the only thing that's on. So if we're going to turn the decimator off, it's going to be so loud. I already know it, because we're still, everything is still on 10 with the Marshall. So let's try turning this decimator off. Oh, wow. That is ear piercing. Ear piercing loud. So let's try playing with the decimator on real quick. We have no noise gate and or, or no de uh, no overdrive. And uh, let's turn the delay on because the delay is always cool. We don't need the overdrive for this part. How it sounds without the no or without the overdrive on, but then let's so if we turn off the noise gate here, I mean ear piercing. Turn the noise gate back on, and it's it's way quieter, so much quieter. If we turn the overdrive back on, no difference in no difference in sound, really. But we're gonna get a tighter signal. How to get a super loud, noisy, high gain amp. Two of the highest gain amps out there, JVM 410 and 5150. That is how to keep them quiet. You need a G-string. <laughs>